Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kid Lit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review Ramona the Brave by Beverly Cleary, which is I think the third book in the Ramona series. I have never read this, I know this is a very classic middle fiction story from North America, but I had not read it before and I picked it up last year when I was doing my birthday book walk and book haul and I picked it up because I thought, you know what, I've not read it, I'm pretty sure it'll be a good fit for my grade two students and pretty much that's it. The synopsis of the book says, being brave is a full-time job. Ramona is happy to have a new bedroom all to herself, during the day at least. It's a different story at night where there could be monsters under her bed. Change is scary and it's not just her new room. Ramona is also upset by her mum's return to work and her first grade teacher who just doesn't understand her. Ramona thought getting older would be fun but now everything feels different. Will Ramona learn to face her fears and find her bravery? This is very much about Ramona growing up. She reacts in ways to situations very much like a first grader would. That means irrationally at times but it's irrational to adults as opposed to a seven-year-old who is just figuring out things for the first time and having to navigate big emotions. So everything in here is highly relatable to kids. Ramona struggles with her relationship with her sibling. She is definitely not coping with the fact that mom's going back to work and isn't around all the time and she doesn't understand why her new teacher this year isn't exactly the same as her previous teacher and why the expectations are different. That storyline, as much as I didn't love the teacher representation in this particular book. It is really important because teachers will do everything that they can to create a relationship with students in their classroom but just like relationships with other people sometimes people just don't click and that's not an excuse for poor behavior on the adults part but it does mean that sometimes children don't understand why teachers have expectations or why they might ask you to do something because you're struggling to build that relationship right. So all of that is highly relatable it's also really good for conversation in talking about it. you don't have to like everyone but we have to try and figure out why they might be saying something or why they might be behaving in a particular way so that we can find a way to work together regardless of whether you're going to be best friends with someone and that is true both of student teacher relationships it is also very true of adult relationships but also of peer relationships between kids so it's it's an important message and I think it's definitely something that young kids struggle with because they don't understand why people don't just love everything that they love. So there's a lot that goes on in the book and yes Ramona is very much in that that id stage where everything's about her and that's okay. As an adult it doesn't necessarily make her the most relatable or the most likable character but it's also incredibly understandable because at that age of course you think everything's about you. It also features illustrations throughout the text. The text size is reasonably large. It's a, a fairly quick read if you're an adult but it would also be an engrossing read if you're at that age. It would make a good class novel as well. That was Ramona the Brave. I'm glad that I read it. Is it my favorite middle fiction story out there or junior fiction story out there? Not really but that's okay. That do It doesn't have to be. I can see the purpose and how kids would relate to this which is the point because I am not the target audience for this book but I am glad that I read it because it's not often that I gravitate towards more of the classic novels in the children's genre. I, I'll deal with picture books but not so much with novels so I'm trying to branch out a little bit more. I will leave links to where you can find out more information about the book and the author down below. If you've read the book or the series or the author and you have a favorite let me know what that is down below otherwise feel free to leave a brick emoji to let me know that you're here. Ramona and her friend do play with bricks during this this book so that's a good emoji to leave for it. Otherwise I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.